Hi, everyone. Welcome to the American Family Insurance Dream Bank Facebook page, where we believe in the transformative power of dreams, and we are committed to helping you to pursue yours. I'm Kriterika Pierce, and today we are welcoming back Brittany for today's lunchtime yoga. Brittany is so excited to be back to her dream bank. She has been teaching for three years now and is always learning from students, fellow teachers, and so many books. Brittany's favorite aspect of teaching is being able to hold a safe space for people to explore into themselves and get curious to what is going on around you, physically and emotionally. Please take these next 45 minutes to celebrate you. We're ready for you, Brittany. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. My name is Brittany, and I'm very happy to guide you through to today's practice. Um, and today we'll be um, focusing on um, cultivating a strong back. So that is both physically as well as mentally and emotionally. So physically, it's really important to have a strong back. You know, it helps us with our posture, helps us with movement. And then um, mentally and emotionally, having a strong back means um, being strong with your integrity and standing up for, you know, what your authentic self is, which, you know, we can all use a little bit of a boost in that department when it comes to our mental and emotional health. So that's kind of the invitation for today is um, cultivating a strong back. So to get started, we're just going to find a comfortable seat. Um, I'm sitting on a blanket to give me a little boost. You can certainly do that as well. And if um, sitting is a little uncomfortable for you, know that you can always come down onto your back. We're just going to be here to um, start to establish our work. So once you find your seat, you can let your hands rest onto the thighs. Feel a little reach up through the crown of the head. So right away, cultivating that strong back by lengthening the spine. And then if you'd like, go ahead and close your eyes. Taking a moment to check in with how you feel physically. Noticing the parts of your body that feel really good. And notice the parts of your body that might be a little sticky today or tender. Checking with your emotional body, how are you feeling today? And if you haven't started to already, begin to chew into your breath. So that could be bringing your hands onto your heart, into your belly to feel that rise and fall of your inhale. Or maybe you draw your awareness to the tip of your nose where you can feel that tickling sensation of the breath flowing in and out. Notice how your inhale is today. Is it long or short? Is it shallow or deep? And notice how your exhale is. Is it a nice slow exhale or do you breathe out the breath really fast? Is it a complete exhale or are you leaving a little bit of air left in the chamber? And if it's comfortable, can you breathe through your nose nice and slow, drawing your breath all the way down to your belly, and then letting your exhale go nice and slow and really um, breathing all of the air out so that you make room for the next breath in. Being here for a couple more moments, just feeling your breath, slowing it down, having it be nice and full. Go 
Good. With your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And then with your exhale, take a twist over to the right. Keep it nice and tall in the spine. So don't feel like you need to go into the deepest twist here. Just a little bit of a twist. Warming up the spine. Breathing here. Next, inhale, come back to your center, reach up the arms. And then exhale, take a twist over to the left. Reaching up nice and tall with the crown of your head. Good. Inhale, come back through center. With your exhale, let your hands come down by your side and keep your legs up long in front of you. Have a little energy in the feet, so flex your feet, spread the toes, press your heels down into the ground. Breathe in, inhale, reach with the arms. With your exhale, hinge to the hips, lead with the heart, fold over the legs. Doesn't need to be a big forward fold. Right at the start of class, hamstrings probably not very really warmed up unless you took a jog right before them to something. So once again, just find enough of a sensation to feel an opening, but don't feel like you need to reach to your biggest forward fold. Three more inhales and exhales here. Last breath in. Last breath out. Good. Start to come on out and then make your way into your downward facing dog. However, that journey is. And set out a prop that you are sitting on off to the side. Good. Finding your downward facing dog and stay in stillness for a moment here. Feel your hands on the ground. Feel your balls, the feet, and the toes on the ground. Notice how this downward facing dog feels. And then once you've checked it out, you can start to find some freedom here. A little pedal up these feel, swish of the hips. What feels authentic for you? Moving with your integrity, doing what feels right for you. Maybe the full time that we're in plank. Feel free to keep the knees up. Reach on through the heels and the crown of the head. Three more breaths here. Having your gaze above your mat. Try to look when looking down at your feet. Good. Breathe in. With your exhale, drop the knees down and lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes, keep your hands under the shoulders, and inhale, press and lift on a cobra. Exhale, lower the heart down. Inhale, lift up cobra. Exhale, lower. And one more, breathe in. Breathe out, lower the heart, tuck the toes, come to the knees. Reach your hips up and back, finding a downward facing dog. Good. 
Good. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open up your mouth and go a big side out. Good. Inhale, bend as your knees look forward. And with your exhale, come on up to the top of your mat. All right, from here, press onto the big toes. With your inhale, lift up halfway. We're going to stay here for a moment. So in your halfway lift, pull your navel into your spine. Reach your sit bones long back behind you. And your heart is reaching forward so that you can feel the spinal erectors, the muscles along your spine engaging here, helping you keep lifted. Good. You can also feel the hamstrings open up a little bit here. One more breath in. With your exhale, nice deep bend into the knees, come on down to a right dog. Feel free to grab a hold of opposite elbows, sway from side to side. And then let's take that strong halfway lift again. So with your inhale, come on up halfway, holding the navel up and in. Heart is reaching forward, tailbone reaching back behind you. Feel the strength of your back here. Nice, strong back. Nice. One more inhale. Exhale, nice deep bend into the knees. Let it go and fold. Maybe find that right down again, swaying from side to side. Good. Next inhale, press to the feet. Come on up. Reach fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that one more time. Nice deep breath in. Reach up the arms. Maybe gaze follows. Exhale, hands to heart. Next breath in, lift up. With your exhale, come on down and fold. Good. Tend the fingertips. Set the left foot back behind you, keep the heel up, and then rise on up for your crescent lunge. Starting to wake up the legs a little bit, press on through the feet, keep lifting up through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, frame up your foot, step up to the top of the mat and switch out the feet so then the right foot goes back, heel is up, rise on up for your crescent lunge. Good. Press down both through, through both feet. One more inhale. Exhale, freeing up the foot, step up to the top of your mat. Inhale, nice and strong, halfway lift. Good, exhale and fold. Inhale, this time drop the sit bones down, lift on up, find a chair pose here. So, drag the weight through the heels, lift up through the tops of the thighs, keep your hands at heart center, or you can bring biceps up by the ears. Last a little bit of waking up the legs, feeling some strength here. One more breath in. Exhale, let it go and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, set the fingertips down, step the left foot back again, heel is up, rise on up, press it lunge. Good. Adding a little bit of a balance challenge here, you're going to grab a hold of opposite elbows above the head. Press to the feet, lift up through the heart. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, take a lean over to the right, so you're opening up through the left side body. Try to keep your hips pulling into your center line. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lean to the left. Open up through the right side this time. Good, inhale, come back to center. You release the hands. Exhale, frame up your foot, step up to the top of the mat, 
and switch on the leg so the right foot goes back. Rise on up, crescent lunge. Find your feet here, and then when you're ready, grab a hold of opposite elbows. Press down, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, lean to the left. Hips pulling into center line. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lean to the right. Good. Come back through center. Release the hands. Exhale, bring your hands down. Clamp the palms. Step back to your plank pose. Now you can always lower the knees down. Navel pulling up and in. Heels reaching back behind you. Crown the head forward. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the knees down. Find a tabletop. Untuck the toes. Inhale, drop the belly down, find a cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Three more, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to your cow pose. Exhale to cat. One more, inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Drop the belly down. Tuck your toes under. And then press the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale. Come forward into your plank pose. Exhale. Lower the knees down. Come all the way to your belly. This time, hands come down by your side. Palms face down. Squeeze inner thighs together. Inhale, lift up for our lotus pose. Good. So once again, feeling the back muscles engage here, lifting up the heart. Back the legs are also working to the lift of the feet. Breathe here. One more inhale. Exhale, come on down, hands underneath the shoulders. You're gonna press your way up and back into a child's pose. So knees come out wide, big toes come together, let the heart sink down. Round and soften your back. Good. In this child's pose, take a moment to check in. Notice how you feel. We started to move a little bit. How has that impacted your body? How has it impacted your mind? And how has it impacted your breath? Good. Two more breaths here. Inhale.
pressing through the feet, navel pulling up and in. Good. Back is nice and strong here. You're going to always bring your hands to heart center. Maybe reach the hands back behind you as well. Good. One more nice deep breath in. With your exhale, take a nice fold over the right leg. So this is a pretty big hamstring stretch. If you'd like, feel free to scooch the left foot in a little bit to shorten up the stance. And you can always bring a bend into the right knee. Let your heart be heavy here. Feel this length in the back of the right leg. Drawing the right hip back in space. Three more reps. Last breath in. Last breath out. Next inhale, bend back into the right knee. Rise up, up, warrior one. With your exhale, take this into a warrior two. Good. Inhale, flip the front palm, reach back. Peaceful warrior. Opening up once again through the right side body. Keep the right knee nice and strong. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. With your exhale, you're going to swivel back into a crescent lunge. So hips come forward, back heel is up. Another balance challenge, start to bring a little bounce into the back knee. We're going to use it like a lunge to come up to the top of the mat, finding a tree pose. So, kickstand, left foot connecting to the inner half or the inner right thigh. You choose. You can have hands at heart center. Maybe you wave them around or reach fingertips up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, set the left foot down. Inhale, sweep up the arms. With your exhale, come on down and fold. So, in this fold, we're going to add a little twist. Keep a nice deep bend into the left knee. Your right leg will be straight. The left fingertips will be tented right in front of you. Sweep right arm up to the sky. If you have a yoga block or a stack of books, that might be nice to place under the left hand to bring the ground up to you. Draw shoulder blades together. Good, breathe in. Exhale, come back down to your fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, you're going to plant the palms. Step back to your plank pose. Nice deep breath in. With your exhale, come all the way down to your belly. Hands come down by your sides again. This time, palms are up. Bring a smile to the collarbones by drawing the shoulder blades towards one another. Inner thigh, squeeze in, and then lift on up, finding another locust pose. Feel the strength of your back here. Halt it with your neck strong back. Breathing here. Breathing into your authenticity. One more inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Hands underneath the shoulders. Press back into another child's pose.
Take a big inhale to the back of the heart. Feel your ribcage expand. Let go a big exhale. Good. One more for good measure. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you're ready, come back to your downward facing dog. Good. And then we'll inhale, sweep left leg up to the sky. With your exhale, come forward and through, sealing your back heel down, rising on up, finding your warrior one. Good. Once again, back foot down, about a 45 degree-ish place. Let your hips be where they are. Press to the feet. Reach up nice and tall. Good. From here, we'll take this into our pyramid pose and start to straighten through the left leg. Before hinging, draw your left hip back in space. Toe the navel up and in, and then start to hinge from the hips, hovering here. Good. Know your arm positions. So you can keep biceps up by the ears. Hands at heart center, or reach the arms back. Reaching the arms back adds a nice little tricep element because you're using the triceps to lift the arms back. Heart is reaching forward, so bringing in that element of that halfway lift that we worked on in the beginning of practice. Good. One more inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Fold over the left leg. So once again, this is a big hamstring move, or stretch, I should say. So if you'd like, feel free to shorten up the stance, stepping the right foot in as much as you'd like. And keep a little bend in the left knee to avoid any hyperextending. Keep drawing your left hip back in space here. And breathe. Feel the sensation in the left leg. Does it feel different um, compared to the right side? One side might be a little bit more open than the other. Just a nice reminder that our bodies are not symmetrical. One side can feel different than the other. Good. Next inhale, bend back into the left knee. Come on up, warrior one. Exhale, take it into your warrior two. Opening on up to the side. Breathe in, flip the front palm, take this back, peaceful warrior. Find an opening along the left side body this time. Beautiful. Inhale, back to your warrior two. Exhale, we'll shift back into our crescent lunge, bringing the right heel up. Start thinking about that tree pose. Start to bring a little bounce into the right knee. Use it like a launch to come on up, finding your tree pose. Right foot connecting to the inner calf. Inner thigh, maybe a kickstand. You choose. Feel free to have fun with your arms. Finding your own expression. One more inhale. Exhale, set the right foot down. Inhale, sweep up the arms. With your exhale, hinge and fold. This time, we're going to keep bending to the right knee this time. Left leg is straight. Tent the right fingertips. Reach left arm up, twisting on the other side. 
Drawing shoulder blades together. You know you can always grab your yoga block or a stack of books to bring the ground up to you. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to your plank pose. Breathe in. Exhale, come on down to your belly. One last variation of a locust pose. So, you can interlace your fingers at the base of the spine. Reach the knuckles back behind you. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Lift on up. Bound locust pose here. Oh, excuse me. So, if this feels not the greatest for the shoulders, know you can always release that grip. Let the hands be free by the sides. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. This time, make a pillow with your hands. Let a cheek rest down. Kick the heels up and switch from side to side. Good. We're starting to wind down, slowing our breath. Letting the knees and the heels switch from side to side. When you're ready, go ahead and Flip over onto your back. Hugging your knees up into your chest. Use the ground like your own personal masseuse. Massaging up the spine after all of that engaging that we did to cultivate our strong back. Let's take this into a reclined pigeon pose. So set both feet down on the ground, about hips with distance apart. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. So I'm going to open up the hip. Make it a figure four. You can stay here or weave your arms through and hug your left knee up into your chest. Let the back of your head be heavy, shoulders soft to the ground. Breathe in. With your exhale, release both feet back down to the ground. Feel free to switch the knees from side to side, rinsing out the right hip. And bring both knees back to center. Let's take this over to the other side. So left ankle crosses over. Starting to open up the hip, 
feel that figure four shape, you can stay here. Or if you'd like, go ahead, hug the right knee up into your chest. Notice how your left hip feels here. How does it differ from the other side? Few more rounds of inhales and exhales here. Good, breathe in. Exhale, set both feet down, give the knees a swish from side to side. Good, let's take this into a twist. So bring your arms up to a T, your goal, post the arms. We'll lift up the feet, make a 90 degree bend with the knees. Now, we're going to lift up the hips, scooch them up over to the left, and then let the knees fall over to the right. So by scooching the hips over, it just gives ourselves a little bit more space to come into this twist. Let the shoulders give way to gravity, melting down to the ground. Knees are heavy over to the right side. Stay in this twist for a breath or two longer. When you're ready, go ahead, bring one knee up, then the other. Reestablishing that 90 degree bend, and then go ahead, pick up the hips, shift them off over to the right, giving you that space to let the knees fall over to the left. Feeling this twist on the other side.
couple more inhales here. Stay here a breath or two longer. When you're ready, come back on up. Reach your arms up overhead, legs up long in front of you, finding a full body stretch. Big breath in. And then with your exhale, come on into your final resting pose. Let your arms come down by your sides. Let your feet flop open. And take these last few moments to simply be with yourself. Noticing how you feel right in this moment. Being your true, authentic self. No need to change anything. Or be something that you're not. in stillness for as long as you like. When you're ready, start to bring a little bit of movement back into your body, whatever that might be. Eventually rolling over to your right or to your left side, use the strength of your arms to come up to a comfortable seat. Eyes closed if that feels comfortable. Place one hand onto your heart, place the other hand on top. Let's celebrate our own unique, authentic selves by taking in one last deep breath. Breathe in. Open up your mouth, big side out. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon to take care of yourself, to move and breathe and be just the way you are. Until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you so much, Brittany, for being with us on this beautiful Friday to give us such a nice practice. And thank you to all the Dream Thing guests who, are, who have joined us today. And for more of our Dream Think events, please be sure to check out our Dream Think Madison Facebook page. Bye, everyone.